Oh, good morning, all you lovely people. Welcome back to Grumpy Old Git in the Corner on a overcast, damp Wednesday. Um, it is drizzling a bit out there, that fine, misty shit. Um, sorry for the breathing and sniffling. I'm not in my best today. <coughs> I've had some uh, pretty sleepless nights. My throat's bad, my eyes are bad, and I keep falling asleep. <laughs> Although I can't sleep at night. We carry on. And it continues out there on the streets. You know, if anybody is still in any doubt that we're in a dictatorship, you know, you're not seeing what's happening out there. I mean, the easiest way to get rid of anybody that you don't want is get them off the street. Like anybody that opposes you. But now you've got your political police to throw any party out of town that doesn't agree with the dictatorship's narrative. And they'll use any bullshit to do it. I mean, just look at this. Me? Go okay. on. This, it's been assessed that your being in this location yes. okay, may contribute to violent oh. disorder and antisocial behaviour. As insane. such, under section 34, we Go require on. you to leave the town of Blackpool. <laughs> You're being told to leave Blackpool, okay? Yeah. The route you can take is up this way. So we can't go down the sidewalk? No, we're only no, allowed no, no, to no, watch. No, no. Oh my god. So the route you can take <laughs> is down South Promenade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Go on. Squires Gate. Yeah. Then left on Squires Gate, yeah. which will take you all the way to the M55. Okay. Once you hit the M55, okay. you're out of Blackpool. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. For yourself, we okay? literally live in in like Stalin's Russia. We're living in North Korea. We're being kicked, we're a political party and we're being kicked out of a town. A political party, which is well within the law to campaign. Is it? Now, again, I'll use the comparison to a 1930s Germany and a certain political party there. Wasn't this how they operated? Wasn't this how they kept their opposition out of the way? Are they using history as a guide from him? But when you start doing this, you go down a very slippery slope. And it does not end well using these sort of tactics. But the comparisons are very worrying to say the least, aren't they? You know, we're seeing more and more of it. Where it's going to stop, I don't know. But something's got to give. Something big has got to give. Now, again, to me, there seems to have been a very, very big escalation of stabbings on the street in this country. Or is it that the media mainstream media hasn't got anything else to cover and report on well they have they've been st starting to report on certain wars in certain areas of the world again although they're not strictly telling the truth about that that they never do on anything anyway but these incidents that are happening here mostly seem to be coming from minority groups very very rare is, how can I put it, a white Englishman involved in this, unless he's the victim. And it does seem a worrying trend that it's all directed at kids nowadays. Now, you won't find all the reports of these incidents on mainstream media. you Better off, if you want to see just how bad it is, you can look at the official statistics, but we know the government control them and the police control the others. I mean, yes, you, you can um, put in a request for information from the police in open areas, you know. Um, their press officers, press office, um, freedom of information requests on what's happening in your area. And you'll probably find more in your local papers and local press than you will in mainstream shit. But have a look around, people. You'd be horrified at the level of this now. 
and it's countrywide. <coughs> I'm not going to put any information out on that and numbers because the way the dictatorship runs now, anything you put on here involving numbers like that, don't matter whether they're truth or not, they will attempt to pull you down for misinformation. So what I'm saying is, if you want to know these things, go and look for yourself, people. Now, from what I'm seeing, we've got two specific groups of armed people on our streets now. And both groups seem to like to hang around in gangs. Now, one is carrying sticks and bladed weapons, as we've seen in plenty of videos, and dressed in almost a uniform, all in black, usually covered up with masks. The other is carrying weapons like batons, gas, electrically charged weapons, and the odd one with firearms, and they're dressed in yellow. One a freelance, the other is backed by a government and the law. But both are very, very willing to use what they have against innocent members of the public. Usually with no justification or reason. It's just because they can. Right, I'm going to leave it there for today, folks, because I know what will happen. I'll be going deeper into it, and I'll get myself into fucking trouble. But that's what I'm seeing. That's my opinion. No matter what, you can't take that away from me. <coughs> now, I will be doing the regular midweek live tonight. Um, probably only for an hour or so, I'm afraid. I'm not, Like I said at the beginning, I'm not feeling at my best. And I've got to start looking at my health a bit more now. Um, <laughs> things are getting a little bit worse. And I've got to get them checked out. But there we are. We can talk about that tonight. But until the next one, people, as always, stay safe. Stay absolutely strong. Watch your back, people. Because you don't know who's coming up behind you. Respects.